Guess what y'all? I got a new car! <laughs> Ta-da! My dream mom car. Hey guys, so I know that was a really strange way to kick off the vlog, but as you all just saw, I recently got my new mom car. Well, actually, it's a family car, but it's essentially my mom car. And this vlog is going to be like a spend day with me, but it's all about prepping for baby. And one of the big things that we did to prep for the new baby is to get me a, you know, bigger, larger mom car. And it definitely would have been possible without keeping a good eye on my FICO score. So I want to give a huge shout out to Experian Boost for sponsoring today video if you guys don't know me and Dion are very 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 serious about our financial health especially when it comes to our credit scores and we actually did not grow up learning much about credit or our FICO scores kind of how it works and essentially how important it is to you know make big purchases like you know a new home you know a new car you know getting loans and things like that and so we really didn't pay much attention to it until we we're in the process of buying our first home almost two years ago and we were like super serious about getting you know our FICO score in check and surprisingly 90% of top lenders actually use FICO scores that's why it's really important to focus on your FICO score get it in check and not just get it in check but to also do what you can to improve it so you can get the best bang for your buck now of course it's really important that before you make a big purchase to go ahead and definitely check to see how you look to lenders by checking your FICO score for free and that is where Experian comes in now Experian is an amazing resource because it allows you to not only check your FICO score for free but it also lets you boost your FICO score instantly by an average of 12 points so it's super great and it's super amazing, especially for people who, you know, want to get their FICO score in check and just get the overall financial health together. And also if you use Experian Boost, you can boost your FICO score instantly by just paying your utility bill. So that's something that's super simple that we all, you know, have to do every single month. So if you're interested in checking out Experian Boost and improving your FICO score, let me go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I can tell you that from our experience, FICO score has pretty much been used for every big purchase that we have made. For our house, they use our FICO score. To purchase this car, they use our FICO score. There are many things that me and Dion do in the future, like, you know, build our dream home, you know, possibly get a business loan, you know, another personal loan, things like that. And so that is why it's important to us. And we definitely want to go ahead and encourage you guys to check it out as well, just to get your FICO score where it needs to be so we can all be making our dreams come true and, you know, do what we want to do and not letting credit get in the way. So again, definitely go ahead and click the link down below, to sign up for Experian for free and also to boost your FICO score. Again, I know credit and finance is one of those things that no one wants to talk about, but it's definitely important to keep an eye on it. Definitely get educated, definitely get informed, you know, and go ahead and do what you need to do in order to get your FICO score in check because it's what we need to do, right? So I can tell you guys that this car here, again, is like literally my dream. I'm super excited about it because I have been wanting this car, babe, for how long? A couple years now. <laughs> I have been talking about this car for so long. And honestly, it wasn't even like a need in order to prep for the baby right but i just like it's the perfect time and also this car is much bigger um and much wider than my previous car and the trunk space is perfect for strollers and diaper bags and all that good stuff honestly it, that's my reasoning behind it but i <laughs> i really didn't need it um but it is like you know just a, a nice gift to myself and to the family as well so yeah i didn't mention the car that i actually got i did get a range Rover velar are dynamic um so it's one of the models that has you know like all this different screens all this different tech stuff that i have no idea how to work yet um but i can say i've had it for a couple weeks and i literally love this car it has the white exterior the light interior all that good stuff you guys and i am really loving it uh, but how you like it it's cool not that is cool y'all he is. wants to drive it all the time not true yes <laughs> the Not day, y'all, the, the day after we bought it, Dion was like, okay, babe, let me take the keys to the, to the range so I want to drive it. He is definitely playing it cool, but he loves it. I love it. Breland loves it for sure. And it just has like everything I wanted, and I'm really excited about it. Um, so this is definitely one of the main things that we did to prep for baby. Aside from that, there are some other things that I have been doing to prep for the baby, and I actually have some vlog footage that I want to go ahead and include here in the video. Just over the past day of just things that I was doing around the house to kind of prep for baby, like things I've been doing to stay active, things that I have been doing um, as far as preparing like for her nursery, just some baby gear that we've been getting in um, so far, and things like that. So I definitely want to go ahead and enter the vlog footage here and kind of show you guys a day in the live. Life of me prepping for baby girl who will be here in three months which is crazy 
and it's just like wow time's going fast but we are getting to it so roll the footage good morning guys kind of gonna be a random spend the day with me kind of just showing you guys a couple things i've been doing um recently to prepare for this little girl right here <laughs> y'all she is getting big and oof. let's just say i am feeling I am really starting to really, really, really feel pregnant because I am literally feeling every little thing that she does. It's beautiful, but it also it has been painful. <laughs> We're getting through it. I mean, positive, you know, it'll all be worth it. But Lord, is she giving me a run for my money? <laughs> In two days, we will literally be exactly three months out from her, well, from my due date which is crazy. Literally, it's just like, whoa, time has flown by so fast and me and Dion really need to get, <laughs> get a move on it because we have been slow playing. Like literally, we haven't done anything. But things are starting to slowly arrive for her, like her car seat, stroller, high chair. We have some like little toys and stuff that, not toys, toys, but you know, like some things for her development and stuff like that. But first and foremost, we are kicking off the morning with a workout. Now, if y'all follow me on Instagram, then you guys know that I have actually been doing really, really, really good um, in terms of staying active for the past, I think this is week four that I have like continuously been doing something active every morning. I didn't really do a good, good job of that the first trimester, like the first trimester and like the first half of the second, honestly, but I really want to get better with it. And so a few weeks ago, I started just doing regular workouts that I found on YouTube. And so I'm gonna show you guys what I had been doing. I just go on YouTube and I just search like full body pregnancy workout or like second trimester workout. There's like all kinds of workout videos on YouTube. And honestly, I kind of um, just do whatever I feel like doing that day. So here's a little <laughs> really raggedy uh, workout setup. So basically this is Dion's computer. We actually have no space in our house to actually work out. So you guys know this is like our formal living room dining area here. We literally have nothing in here. Um, and as you all see, this is pretty much like our dump spot <laughs> for all baby things till we get her nursery cleared out and everything. So that half is like all baby stuff pretty much. And then this half, me and Dion have been using as like our little workout station just until we get furniture in here. And then we just plug in <laughs> this computer and just put it right here and literally I'll just follow the workout right here. Honestly, it works for us. Um, it's very simple and easy. And so I'll just do this. Let me go ahead and get to working out. I am running behind today, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this workout in. doing um in terms of just like and i actually plan on doing a actual morning routine but one of the things that is a must is whenever i hop in the shower i love to play worship music you guys know worship music is like my well if you guys don't follow me for a while you guys know that gospel is like a must <laughs> For me, it's my first love, so I always play it whenever I'm in the shower. And I love doing that, especially now, because she's at the point in her development where she can hear. So me and Dion literally have full-on conversations with her. <laughs> and then I always play music for her, just that way she can like, you know, just have some music to dance to while she's in the stomach. I, I always tell Dion, like, whenever she's like going crazy in there, I'm always like, oh, your daughter's dancing again. She is dancing. She is, <laughs> I always say she's a dancing machine. I clearly got myself together. I'm actually sitting here. I have a meeting that I'm waiting to, to hop onto. And so while I'm sitting here, um, I wanted to actually go ahead and finish finalizing the registry 
y'all that has been a struggle so we are doing two different registries we're doing amazon and target the target one was pretty easy because you pretty much went in person and did that one and we did that a few weeks ago actually um only thing is is this like I wanted to like sit on it for a few weeks just to make any tweaks because I we added stuff to our registry and then like I would just go back look at it and be like we don't need this or we're missing this or we need more of this or whatever and then um, I've been working on the Amazon one and the Amazon one is so much more it's so much more intense because it's Amazon so there's so much stuff on there so you're literally just like I'm genuinely trying to keep it just to stuff that we need. Let me go ahead though, I'm gonna look this list one more time and just make sure that I have every everything that I need. Um, what did help though is that my sister, Alicia, um, I had asked her to pretty much send me a list of all the items that she felt was essential um, for her because I wanted to try to avoid buying a whole bunch of extra stuff. Um, and so she did, she sent me this list and that list was super helpful in making the registry. Um, and then I had also like made like a list of other things that I thought that the, that the list may have missed. And I, excuse me, and I showed it to her, just gotta get her, her feedback or, you know, input. And she was like, okay, yeah, that's pretty much everything. So I feel good knowing that she kind of okayed it. She didn't feel like I had a lot of any, like a whole bunch of extra stuff on there, which is good. Cause I don't want to waste money, especially for babies. Cause that baby stage goes by really, really quickly. So by the way, y'all still in the same spot <laughs> in case anyone cared. I don't go on lunch for like another two, two and a half hours. And I need, actually I was able to schedule a last minute wax appointment. So I'm gonna just go get waxed, grab some lunch and um, try to run to Target during my lunch break. So in the meantime, I'm just eating a salad along with one of the Fuel Suja juices. You guys know I love Suja juices. And hopefully this will hold me over until lunchtime because I'm starving. I went to grab some lunch on my way to my waxing appointment. Ooh, y'all, let me tell you about waxing while pregnant. Let me just say, it is a whole nother experience. <laughs> It's a whole nother experience. Like getting waxed in general is not easy. But when I say getting waxed pregnant, especially the further along you get in your pregnancy, baby, let's just say that it's an even more interesting experience. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna sit here in the Whataburger line because that is what I have taste for. So <laughs> y'all see I had a, a salad and a, a healthy drink or healthy juice um earlier and then i jumped straight to a uh, water burger one thing i do do and i don't know if i ever showed you guys on my youtube channel the wedge that i use to sleep Here you are. Have a great day. okay thank you no oh i didn't get any honey mustard can i get some honey mustard please i, I didn't get any in here Thank you. No problem. I love your car, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. She's complimenting my mom car. <laughs> so I have this wedge that works perfectly for when I'm sleeping, but whenever I go get waxed, I bring the wedge so that way I can still go get waxed, but I'm not laying on my back for a long period of time. Headed to do that, but first I'm gonna sit here for like the next five minutes and just shout down. I've got my favorite go-to meal that I get from here every single time, which is number 13. I love their chicken strips. Let me go ahead and chow down for the next like five minutes and then off to wax and we go. I'm in Target now. Just finished getting waxed, which I'm telling y'all, it is literally getting waxed pregnant is a whole different experience. Like it is so painful. It's worth it afterwards, especially because I'm at the point in the pregnancy where I can't see past my belly if you catch my drift. Um, so it's definitely worth it. It's just a lot. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like the cutest fall onesie it says apples pumpkins sweatshirts hugs smooches and naps oh my god I'm telling you guys if there's one thing i can not stop buying it is clothes like this is the cutest little boy outfit for fall oh my gosh it's the cutest stuff i'm really in here 
just to make sure that basically just make sure that I didn't miss anything because we're getting ready to share our registry with like family and friends and stuff so I wanted to come into Target really quickly just to make sure you just kind of walk through the aisle just to make sure I didn't really miss anything on um, the registry that should be included which I don't think that we I don't think that we did but I think we pretty much have everything I like these little headbands how cute are these just the cutest stuff um, I saw those fall boy outfits but I wonder if they have fall girl outfits I feel like Target for the most part just still really has um, mainly summer stuff that's pretty much it so i just got home sorry that it's dark in here you guys this texas weather has been crazy the past few weeks but just got home and i received the or we received the cutest package that we weren't expecting well i knew they were gonna be seeing something but i didn't know what it was and so oh lord oh jesus i don't know why i think that i can get down low like that literally when i opened the box all i kept saying was oh like <laughs> i said all oh, like 20 times and i was just kind of going through all the stuff i won't show every little piece because i definitely want to do like a separate video i plan on doing like a little baby haul video where i kind of show like baby clothing nursery decor haul um just things like that where i kind of you know buy multiple items for like certain things but the package is from bon bebe and you guys they sent the cutest little bundle of clothes. Isn't this so cute? I don't even really see that. There we go. Yeah, they sent the cutest little pieces. And it's nice because they sent like zero to three months, three to six months, and then six to nine month items. So got that. Let's see what else we have over here since I'm sitting over here in um, her little corner. We have her diaper bag, which I'm going to be, I'll actually probably include that in the haul as well. So anyways, it's from the brand Azaria, and I got a diaper bag. It's a really nice quality diaper bag. I got stroller straps. I got a changing pad, like a portable, or not portable, a on the go changing pad for her and then like a little pouch to go with the bag. One of the things that we did get also is from the brand Skit Pop and they were so kind enough to send us some goodies for baby girls. So this is the first thing. It is a activity gym. It plays like the ABC song. It has a peekaboo beehive, the monkey with like movable arms, a grab ring, a baby mirror, it has a llama with a chime on it. It has a giraffe with the crinkle sound and a letter G teether toy. And it says it's great for tummy time, overhead play, and just seated play. But we got the Skip Pop. Oh, the Skip Pop Explore and More Jumpscape. So basically it's just, you know, something for whenever she gets to the point to where she's strong enough to like actually get in the jump skate, she can use this to just like bounce up and down, you know, build her muscles and things like that. This one here has 20 plus developmental activities. It says that it uh, plays four songs and four sound effects. It has lights and animation. So it basically counts the number of jumps the baby does. And so once the baby hits 100 jumps, it actually does like a round of applause. How cute is that? We also have her bathtub. This is literally, me and Dion were literally in Walmart one night. We were, I think we were getting like food or milk or something. It was something so simple. And Dion's like, oh, I want to just get something for her right now. So of all the things he could have picked, he picked the tub, which obviously is an essential piece, but we did go ahead and get her tub already. Also from Skip Pop, we got the Panda Cry Activated Soother. It senses when the baby's crying. So whenever the baby starts crying, it responds with like a lullaby or me and Dion can actually record a message. It even does like soothing sounds as well. So it's a really cool thing. I didn't even know this existed, but I think it's super, um, super cool and convenient. And then we have, oh, this is for, her whenever she gets to the point where she can actually get in the bathtub 
It's like a bath time essentials kit. I have a whole bunch of stuff. Nice stuff, but just a whole bunch of stuff from H&M. Couple outfits and then, which I feel like I'm at the point where I need to cut it off. <laughs> I just can't stop buying clothes. So I did buy a couple outfits. Like, look at this y'all. Love, and look how tiny this is. It says, love is our power. <sighs> this one here. That's like just hearts. So yeah, I did get some clothes, just a couple things, but mostly it's like little decor pieces for her room, um, which I will show you guys later kind of where we are. Well, we're, we're nowhere with her room. Did get her high chair, her car seat, and her stroller. And it's like a really cool travel system. Again, um, we have not put it together yet. I definitely need Dion's help and he is not here at the moment. So I'll just show you guys kind of like how it looks and like what, <laughs> what we went with. Okay, so first up we have her high chair. So her high chair, car seat, and stroller came from the same brand. You guys, I cannot pronounce this for the life of me. Um, but this brand here, Peg, Perego, and this is a siesta high chair. And we went with this really pretty nude or you know tan, beige, like brown, whatever you wanna call it, color. And that is her high chair. So obviously it needs to get put together. This actually just up and down. And it actually reclines backwards. So like if she's in there and she wants to fall asleep or if she's getting sleepy or whatever, we can just tilt it back. And this can actually serve as a baby lounger, which is cool. You guys see it's still in the wrapper, but here's the car seat that we went with. So there's the name of it right there. And so here's her lovely car seat, which is so cute. And it's cool because as I mentioned, this is a travel system. So her car seat attaches directly to the stroller. And two, of course, she's at the point where she can actually sit in the stroller by herself. That is what we have so far. We have some other um, burst bees, baby stuff as well. Just like some body care. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the bulk of what we have so far. Y'all, her nursery is gonna be so freaking cute. <laughs> I just, oh, so as far, another thing that we did to prep for baby is whenever it came to planning her nursery, it was a must that I created a mood board for her room. The reason why is because it can get so overwhelming. I wanted to create a room that was true to us, to our family, and also, you know, for her. So I did create like an actual mood board. Um, it was really simple. I just kind of browsed online for like all of like the main pieces that I wanted for her room. So like her crib, her dresser, you know, her accent wall color, um, her rocker, her ottoman, you know, like the decor, stuff like that. To kind of make sure that everything goes and flows. It's a really good way just to make sure that everything that you're doing actually looks good uh you know like visually compared to just having it in your mind that really 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 helped later on in the evening i just sit here and make a little dinner I'm not making anything special <laughs> honestly that's probably the one thing me and dion need to work on slash get ready for is cooking because him and i have been terrible in terms of cooking i'm not gonna lie i feel like we were doing so good <laughs> We were doing so good for a point of time. And then I feel like kind of started like late last year, early this year, where him and I have gotten so busy that <laughs> we have just been, um, you know, doing what's most convenient. So we, we were saying recently that we need to get back in the habit of it. So starting this week, we're gonna try to get back into what we used to do. Essentially, back whenever we used to live in Austin, we used to kind of be, we kind of have a routine where like, I would have two days where I was responsible for dinner. Dion would have like two days where he was responsible for dinner. And then the other days kind of just like, well, typically the weekends, it's kind of when we just either, you know, we'll eat out or get like, you know, pre-made meals or frozen meals or whatever it is. But we're trying to get better with that. But tonight is definitely a leftovers kind of night. <laughs> um, I have leftovers from Chewy's, amazing Tex-Mex. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably eat this. That is pretty much it for all of the baby prep stuff that we're gonna do today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Oh, let me get dad in the vlog. Okay, I got dad here. Dad, how you feeling? Feeling great, you know? Daughter number two. <laughs> Just more headaches. 
It is not gonna be, well, not gonna lie, I don't feel bad for him, but I'm like, dang, he gonna have three girls. Like, like it's already enough with me and Breland. It really is. But <laughs> it really is. Me and her give him a run for his money, but then like we're adding one more. <laughs> He's really gonna be outnumbered. Yeah, are you feeling ready? Uh, or how do you feel? Do you feel like we're ready or no? I was born for this. Feel ready as in like, do we feel prepared? No. I don't feel prepared. Well, I don't feel prepared to bring her home if she was to come tomorrow. Yeah, that's she what I mean. She have a room. She's had nothing. Ever. <laughs> I am one heck of an improviser. So if she came tomorrow, she got a bed right here in this big king size bed right here. Yeah, we're and like. What we have to go do is get some diapers and some formula. We'll be ready to go. Actually, we already got some formula, but she, we could, if she came tomorrow, we'd be all right. Yeah, I feel like we. The only thing she doesn't have is a room. She's well, having. She, she shouldn't even have a room. She a guest <laughs> for 18 years. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I feel so prepared. I I feel like once we have her room ready, not, once we have furniture for her, once we have like diapers and wipes and like the basic stuff, I'll feel ready. Literally all we have right now is a car seat, a high chair, a stroller. We have one pack of diapers. That's all we need. That's it. That's, <laughs> That's all we have. Okay y'all, it's getting late. I'm getting tired. And I still have work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed today's spend the day with me slash prep for baby vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, don't forget to click the link down below to sign up for Experian for free. To check out your FICO score as well as to improve and boost it as well. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. So check it out. And I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye y'all.